weekend is Comic-Con, which yes, I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna switch it up this time. Let's get this to 20,000 likes if... 20,000 likes if you guys want more Halloween videos. And two, if you think I should go to some YouTube events this year because I'm looking into it. I'm, I mean, come on, I'm wearing this... I'm wearing the super awkward and tacky spider headband for you guys. <laughs> Comment where I should do meetups or what YouTube events maybe you're going to, what YouTube events you think I should go to. I've only been to like one YouTube event before ever and it was like a long, long, long time ago. If you're not subscribed, brief intermission, um, <laughs> be sure to subscribe. I will link it or get above the spider. <laughs> I worked super hard on this video. It was like so much fun. Let's get started. Awkward jazz hands and we out. Okay. <laughs>So first off for Katniss, it's obviously essential to have a bow and arrow. I would use a child's toy set because one, a lot of schools don't allow you to bring weapons. It's two, let's face it, they're adorable and they're way cheaper. Another bonus, oh I'm so nice to you guys, <laughs> um, I am going to be portraying Triss. So basically you would wear the same exact clothing that I wore for the Katniss one, just black combat clothing. I actually just printed out Triss's tattoo and I put double sided tape on the back and it stuck on the whole entire time. Awesome tattoo that is temporary and without the extreme pain. I felt 10 times cooler with this on, let's be real. So for Triss or for Katniss, you are basically gonna wanna stay within the same clothing scheme theme. So this is kind of black type of combat clothing that I'm wearing for this. So basically, if you have a leather jacket or combat boots, you are golden. And if you're playing Katniss, you obviously need the pin, which they sell all over the place online. However, if you don't have the money, then you could print out a picture of the Mockingjay. I'll put my step-by-step -step process in the description because I'm horrible at explaining things, so let's be real. By the way, I got my leather jacket like super cheap from Forever 21 in like 7th grade, and I wear it kind of every day because I always want to feel like Alex Turner. <laughs> dystopian characters are super easy and awesome, make you feel really cool because they use a lot of basically clothing that most people have and their look is generally pretty natural and simple. Basically the only thing I'm missing is a really cute code star, let's be real. <laughs> I'm not that obsessed. I mean, I only had a whole Tumblr dedicated to the Avengers. Or I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> superhero I just you know can't reveal my identity Shh, you didn't hear anything okay so so I've seen a lot of the same superhero outfits and Halloween costumes so I wanted to switch it up and actually make it easier so this is a superhero in disguise costume oh yeah I always say these glasses remind me of Peter Parker so I decided to do spider-man so I'm wearing the same actual casual attire from the Pokemon trainer Halloween costume so you could either buy a t-shirt with the superhero logo or you could make your own using photo transfer paper. The most important part is a jacket or vest or suit that is going to be concealing the superhero logo underneath and then people are like, oh, what are you for Halloween? Oh, I'm just a normal citizen and then wha-bam. It's a Halloween costume and a plot twist. <laughs> To be quite honest, I wish this wasn't a costume, and yes, I admitted that to the internet. The things that I tell you. Okay, so I took a image of the Pokemon trainer hat from, I think, Ash hat. I don't know, I watched the show in like second grade. So I printed out the image on photo transfer paper, you can get it from Michaels, and I just ironed it on, super easy. I repeated the same process with my shirt, and I took like a screenshot of someone's game and put it onto the t-shirt. I don't know, this costume is like if I were to be a Pokemon trainer, this is what I would look like. <laughs> oh, I also wore one of these sporty vest things, a lot of them seem to wear them, I guess Pokemon training is a sport, so let's make it a sport. <laughs> and I brought the pixels to life, literally, wow that was very corny, um, I went on Etsy, you can actually buy pixels for any video game. Using Velcro stickers, I stuck the Pokeball to a belt. It looks hilarious, but I think it works. <laughs> 
This costume was super last minute, actually, seriously. I thought of this idea at 3 a.m. the night before I filmed it. Besides the point, I used my own clothes and I also made some accessories. So if you just want to legit be Harry Potter, then you could obviously draw the scar. I recommend using eyeliner. I found that that has worked best because, you know, it's actually supposed to go on your skin. Don't use, like, Sharpie. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> This Harry Potter remix is creepy, but it's also kind of cool. I feel maniacal saying that. <laughs> so if you don't have a wand, shame on you. Then for now, I would just take actually a random stick, you know, just make sure it's clean. But actually, I think that would look the most authentic. Okay, I sound kind of crazy. Glasses are from Toby and the jacket is from ET. Let it go, cause you can't turn back. I wanted to show you guys a way to do a Harry Potter outfit that is totally different and you are not going to be able to get in stores and will not be a replica whatsoever. So I decided to do the Gryffindor house and if you don't watch Harry Potter you are probably so confused. So I took a red dress and I printed the Gryffindor seal on photo transfer paper. I'm no way crafty and I'm very lazy but I have crazy ideas so photo transfer paper is my calling. <laughs> So along the whole bottom part of the dress, I just ironed on a ton of the Gryffindor seals. Ironing on the Gryffindor seals literally cost me like one dollar. And I use a dress for my own closet, and let's be real, I'm probably gonna be wearing this dress again, and not only on Halloween. <laughs> and all you would have to do is change up the color scheme and the picture that you print out to change the house. And to be honest, you feel ten times cooler in this costume, I kind of didn't want to take it off, okay. <laughs> so I decided to do a bonus costume, aka a costume that I randomly thought of very, very, very last minute but hey this is a video for last minute costumes <laughs> i really wanted to put in a villain and this is the villain that i probably hate the most and please tell me i'm not the only one umbridge has an infatuation with cats same umbridge same so <laughs> i brought a grumpy cat stuffed animal and i took a pink sweater that i got that was vintage so it was like eight seven dollars basically take any sweater that's pink and looks like your grandma would wear it and boom you're umbridge so this costume will work for whatever you're a fan of, no matter what it is. So first thing, you are going to need to dress up as a fan. Yes, even though this is me 24-7, basically I'm just exaggerating myself. Um, T-shirts of any sort, and obviously you're going to want to carry any books related to what you're a fan of. Another idea is to look at small shops on Etsy that sell chokers that are related to fandoms, and also to bring records if it's a band of some sort. And last but not least, bring a fan. Get it? I am so corny. Get it? Because I'm, I'm a fan and okay, oh gosh. <laughs> and if you have a wand of some sort, the dramatic hand motions are not necessary. I feel like every year there's a new Pixar movie that everyone freaks out over and this year it was definitely Inside Out. So I did Sadness and my friend actually discussed, I will leave it in the description. If you and your friend want to do it, that would be adorable. Someone please do it. <laughs> So instead of painting my whole face blue, I'm just using blue blush so that you still kind of get the feeling for it, but you know, without the extreme discomfort and hours of extra work. I got the blue wig from Amazon and the glasses from Toby. Also, wow, totally forgot to mention, blue blush kind of isn't a thing, at least I haven't seen it. So I just use blue eyeshadow, it doesn't really have to be even at all, no one's gonna be judging you, it's, this isn't really like a professional makeup look. To be honest, this video has kind of been my life complete because I'm obsessed with acting and dressing up as characters, let's be real. Me and my close friend for the last Harry Potter movie dressed up, I've dressed up, just kidding, it's our normal attire, we go to Hogwarts together, besides the point. I could not include every single fandom because they're like bajillions. Hopefully this video can help everyone and even if you're not a fan of these things, honestly you can watch me make a fool of myself. We think Comic Con is just like Star Trek, it's not, like I'm going to a Pretty Little Liars panel, super excited by the way. This is Princess Bubblegum, pink hair, my brother is dressing up as Finn the Human and my mom is dressing up as Jake the Dog. <laughs> It's gonna be hilarious. We're all going to be making fools of ourselves. Also, you guys should comment which one of these I should be for Halloween because I, I don't know. Choker of the day. This one is awesome because it's like a locket. It looks exactly like my dog's collar. Let's be real. <laughs> I 